My family is under attack, and now me and my brother Milo must make our village the most secure base Minecraft has ever seen. Why do we always manage to find trouble, Chip? These pillagers look like they have an entire army ready to attack us. Yeah, you're right, Milo. And wait a second. Look, there are two villagers. I have the orange one, and this blue one must be yours. Does that mean we have to protect them so that the pillagers don't destroy us? Yeah, Milo, the pillagers are going to attack us in 10 minutes once the sun sets. We only have that much time to get our families inside our villages and protect them. Well, now I'm totally freaking out. Quickly, Chip, we need to get to our villages so we can stop building our defenses. You're right. Come on, family, let's go. Come on, Milo family, we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, gosh, our kid's slow. Luckily, my building's going to be super quick because I'm a pro. Well, I'm going to try my best because I'm also a pro. I'm a total pro, so my family has a really good chance of surviving, especially if I make some really awesome defenses like a super secure stone wall. This will go all the way around the edge of my base. It'll totally help stop any pillagers from getting through. My wife is trying to run away because she's just so scared, but she does not have to worry. I'll be able to get her inside this wall as well. Milo, you're kind of a noob. What are you building to defend your village? Hey, I'm not Which is cobwebs. What? Cobwebs? Milo, I'm building walls. They're way more secure than cobwebs. Oh, goodness. I need to open up my wall to help let my wife in. Oh, no. She keeps running away. Milo, you're confusing her. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to build all my cobwebs to keep my family safe from those stupid pillagers. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my family safe, too. Luckily, my kid is here in the village with me. He's not going to go anywhere near those evil pillagers. I can't believe we only have 10 minutes to build an entire defense for both of our families. I don't think that both of them are going to make it. Oh, what? They have to make it, Chip. This is so scary, and I'm pretty worried because the sun is going down quickly. You're right, Milo. Look, it's not even in the middle of the sky anymore. It's really quickly setting, so we've got to make sure we really hurry, especially me because I'm the pro. I really have to show everybody how good I am at building. You're barely a pro, Chip. You don't know anything. I know how to protect my family from pillages, Milo, that's for sure. Well, these pillages look really sneaky. I hope they're not too tough because I'm not the best fighter. I've almost made it back to the very beginning where I started building the wall. I'm going so fast. I bet your newbie cobweb wall is taking way longer to build. No way. I just finished it. Thank you very much. What? Milo, that's crazy. If you did, it's just because it's not very well built and my cobblestone wall is really big. Hey, why don't you focus on protecting your family and I'll focus on protecting mine? I will focus on protecting my family, Milo. That's a good idea. It just means I'm more likely to do a really good job. And look, my wife is inside the wall. It's time to block it off so she can't leave again. You don't understand, honey. There is something really dangerous coming. The pillagers are totally going to get us. Now that I've built this wall, I need to build secure watchtowers in every corner. Now that I've built that wall, I need to put secure watchtowers in every corner. And I'm going to build them out of cobblestone and spruce wood. This wall is really ugly. Hey, Milo, don't place cobwebs on my wall. And it is not ugly at all. It's as beautiful as it needs to be to protect my family. I hate it. It's such an eyesore. Well, Milo, your village looks ridiculous. You can't protect your family if you're going to be a noob like that. My village is beautiful and blue. I don't know what you're talking about. What I'm talking about is building this secure watchtower three blocks up with cobblestone. I want to have it be a cylinder shape. This way we can walk up the inner staircase that I'm going to make. I also need to make sure they're really tall, taller than even the highest building in the village. This way we have a really good ability to look anywhere. That way the pillagers can't just sneak up on us from behind. <laughs> Building a pressure plate TNT trap. A pressure plate TNT trap? Milo, do you really think that's going to stop the pillagers? There are so many of them, and some of them are really strong. But they're going to get really confused when they stop blowing up. Milo, I guess you're right, but what about the vexes? Pillagers have the ability to summon vexes sometimes, and they can go through TNT blocks. Okay, well, I didn't really 
now I think about that. But I'll think of another way to deal with the Vex's later, buddy. Yeah, good luck, Milo. For now, I'm going to build the inside of this secure watchtower. I'm building a big spruce pillar right through the middle. Now, I need to grab some slabs and some stairs. I'll grab more spruce blocks. Those were really good looking when I built the pillar out of them in the middle. I'll put the slabs just like this. Oh, perfect. It's going all the way up. This way, me and my wife and my kid can look out here if we need to. That's why I'm doing really small steps. My kid is so tired tiny at the moment. He can only jump up them rather than big blocks like normal people like me and my wife. Oh wow. I hope my kid manages to grow up to be a pro just like his dad. All right, now that I've finished those slabs, it is time to make the actual watchtower part of this build. I need to make sure this watchtower is perfectly made. I'm going to add some spruce logs in every corner and build them up just like this. It needs to look absolutely perfect if I want my family to be happy here. Not only do they have to be safe, they also can't want to leave. That would be embarrassing and it would mean they walk right into the pillagers and become in real danger. I'm going to put spruce trapdoors all around here so that my kid can't fall off. I really hope he doesn't decide to be crazy. Look, him and my wife are going for a walk in nature. This might be the last time they ever get to and whoa, Milo, that field of TNT you're building is massive. Yeah, I hope you don't come over here because I'm totally going to set it up on you. What? Set it off? Why would you do that? That's horrible. You're the worst, that's why. Milo, we do not need to be fighting with each other like this. We need to focus on fighting the pillagers. That is true. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot they were going to try and destroy our families. Yeah, that's right, Milo. We need to protect our families from the pillagers, not each other. Even though I am way more of a pro than you, we can't be fighting like this. I do not have any pro defenses. Having a little stone wall isn't going to do anything, champ. It's not just a wall, Milo. It's going to be a super secure watchtower. You just wait and see. I've been waiting. Now, I'm going to grab some stairs to put on top. Because I'm a pro and Milo doesn't even believe it, I'm going to add quartz stairs. Quartz is a really awesome looking block. It's so shiny and pretty hard to get. You have to go to the nether so only pros can get it. My wife and my kid both know that I'm the ultimate pro. I used to kill pillagers all the time. Now, now I've gotten a little bit older though, so I don't know if I'll be as good as I used to be. I just have to make sure I'm as careful as I possibly can be. This defense will really help me take them out. Milo, are you putting golden pressure plate traps on every single TNT? Yeah, because I'm rich and fancy. And these pillagers are totally going to be jealous of me. I don't know, Milo. Be careful. You've placed your TNT really close together. This means if a pillager steps on even just one piece of TNT, it could ignite your entire village. <laughs> Don't let it happen, Milo. I know you're the noob and I'm the pro, and I really want my family to survive the most, but I still don't want to see yours die. Up on top of my security tower, I'm going to build a really high pillar. This one is not going to be made out of wood, but it is going to stand on it. I'm going to make this pillar out of iron bars. It's going to look real fancy, and up the top, we're going to have a redstone torch. Yep, I'm really excited for this. Let's build the first part of it with cobblestone walls. This needs to look super duper professional, especially Especially if I want everybody to know that I'm definitely the pro here, not the noob at all. Let's place the iron bars like this. Yeah, I really like this design so far. It can act as a radio tower. That way I can receive any signals that I need to. Maybe it'll even help me protect my family quicker. Yeah, I really hope I'm able to do that. Let's build three more high up in the cobblestone walls and three more high with the iron bars. Now let's just place a redstone torch on top. Wow, that looks really cool. Definitely super professional. I'm loving this so far. I just need to make more towers that go all the way around. This way, any angle the pillagers come from, it won't even matter because I'll be able to protect my family on every single one. Let's have another watchtower here. I think here is the perfect spot. We can even have the watchtowers have different things inside. Maybe that one can be the watchtower where we store any extra food that we might need. That way, we will never go hungry, no matter how many pillagers attack us and no matter how long long they attack us for. And then this watchtower can have a bunch of arrows inside. Yeah, that way we'll have some ammo to take them out from a distance. I do not want the pillagers to be able to get the better of us. Luckily, my speed building abilities allow me to be so quick with building this stuff. I do not want to be caught off guard and I do not want to waste any more time. My wife and my kid are depending on me. And who knows, if Milo's defense doesn't work, his family might end up escaping and coming into mine. So I really should
should build enough space for six people, me, Milo, and both of our families. I know we're meant to be competing with each other right now because we just have competitions all the time like that, but I don't know. I do not want to be the reason that Milo loses his family. That is too precious. All right, family, I've now picked every single spot that I want to add a watchtower to defend our town. Guess what I'm doing? What is it, Milo? I'm building Arrow TNTs. Arrow TNTs? Milo, this looks like it could be a disaster. Arrows are the pillagers' specialty. If you fire them back at them, it could just give them more ammo. Oh, no! Well, I've already put them in, so it's too late, but I guess that's true. Oh, goodness, Milo, you've really got to think these things through first. This is truly why you're the noob and I'm the pro. I wish I could help you with this. All right, buddy, that's enough. We all know that I am not the nerd. What? Milo, do you really think that your cobwebs are going to stop those pillagers from getting inside? Yeah, pillagers hate cobwebs. There's no way they're getting through them. I don't know, Milo. Pillagers are evil mobs, and so are spiders. I think they would totally work together. They probably love cobwebs. Why don't you just trust me? I know what I'm doing. All right, Milo, I guess I trust you, but oh gosh, I'm still so worried. I do not want to be the only brother left. You won't be the only brother left. I will be. What, Milo? That is not possible. There is no way the pillagers will get through my secure protection and hurt me or my family. I can't wait to tell you I told you so. Milo, that's a really mean thing to wish on somebody. I hope we both survive, but I guess if only one person does survive, I wish that it's me. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chip. You're welcome, Milo. All right, I just need to build these watchtowers a little quicker. I think this one's a tiny bit shorter than the other one. Or wait, no, they're actually the exact same height. I'm so good at measuring my builds, I would never build anything wrong. Now, instead of building the exact same design as the other watchtower, this one is going to be a little different. It will have some satellite dishes on top instead of a big thing like that. We need to have a big ring of spruce going up like this. It's going to hook up and over and then up on the sides we'll have two radio antenna. This way anything that the pillagers try to talk among themselves we will definitely hear. It'll help me get a really good quick early listen in case they have any sneaky plans. I'm not about to let them sneak up on me and my family like that. That is not ever gonna happen. Let me place the trapdoors around the edge just like this. On this side I'm going to place spruce fences. This way we can see through just a little better. Chip, you know what I'm doing? What is it Milo? I'm using lava which is pretty much the scariest thing in Minecraft. Lava? What? Where are you putting lava, Milo? I'm making a lot of little lava pits so the pillagers fall in them and burn up. Yeah, I hope they burn up. That's a pretty good idea, actually, Milo. Yeah, and if you use lava, then you're copying me. What? You're not allowed to just claim lava. That is not fair at all. <laughs> what if I need to use lava to protect my family? Too bad. Then you'll be a new. That is not a nice thing to say, Milo. I'm not a noob at all. I just want my family to be safe. All right, buddy. Enough with the sob story. Oh, Milo, I do not like where this is going. If we keep fighting, it might distract us, and we won't have any time to focus on making defenses against the pillagers. That's true, because I guess the sun's going down real quick. Yeah, you're right. It totally is, Milo. I can see it making its way towards the mountain now. If it reaches that mountain, we're totally done for. Oh, my God. Looking forward to that moment. I hope I'm prepared by that time. Yeah, me too, Milo. I hope you're prepared as well. This watchtower I'm building now is going to be really tall. It's going to have a super big crow's nest right at the top. That way, we have the best lookout point in the entire village. Because the sun is going down so quickly, I don't have as much time as I thought. I can't even make staircases for this one. All I can make is a big ladder going all the way down. I'm going to place it right on this side. Let's grab the ladder so that we can actually place it now. All right, I've grabbed them and we're going to put them all the way up this beam. I'm not going to miss a single spot. My kid is way too short and if I don't hit every single block with these ladders, he'll miss one and he won't be able to make it to the top. I don't have time to place many fences, but I'll place some around the very corners. This way, we can still shoot any arrows through to catch the pillagers, but they won't be able to shoot us if we're hiding behind these fences. Now that I've built three watchtowers, I think I'll just make the rest of them little small ones. I really don't think the pillagers are going to come around these sides, so they only need to be four blocks.
blocks tall. I'm gonna make them look like traditional castle structures. Oh wow, it's gonna look pretty cool though. I'm gonna have little castle pillars going up just like this. I'm also still gonna have spruce staircases inside, but it'll lead to a bit of a smaller platform like this. Yeah, I think that's way better. Perfect, let's continue making them all the way around the other side. Uh, yeah. What is it, Milo? Well that the TNT was a bad idea? Yes. Why are you talking about it again, Milo? Did something happen? Yeah, one of them blew up. What? One of your TNTs blew up? What if every single one explodes before the pillagers can even get here? Well, I'm gonna have to be really careful, aren't I? Now this is really bad. Our next defense needs to be a big chest at the top of this tower. Let's grab the chest right now. I think here is perfect. I'll put it on this side so that we can grab it and then have a clear lookout into this section. I also need to grab some explosive arrows. Let's grab explosive netherite arrows. Those are the most powerful. I will also grab a bow so that we can all fire them. I'll have three, one for me, one for my wife, and one for my kid. Let's put all the arrows we could possibly need inside. In the bottom though, I'm gonna add three extra bows. That way, if Milo and his family need to come over, everyone has a bow to shoot away the pillagers. Oh goodness, the evokers are starting to send their attacks through the wall. They're getting ready to attack us, Milo. This is a bad sign. Oh no, and more of my TNT keeps blowing up. Oh Milo, you really did not think this through. I can see it blowing up right now. What? Oh gosh, Milo, you're too newbie to put TNT all around your base. That's a terrible idea. Oh look, Milo, my wife and my kid are following me. They're really scared because they see the evokers training for war. Oh, you guys are such bozos. Cut it out. Yeah, I'm going to place magma blocks all around the edge of this wall. This way, if the pillagers get too close, they'll start walking on the magma and their feet will totally burn. I'm not going to place it on the inside though, because then my kid and my wife might accidentally step on it and I do not want them to get any damage. We're going to be so safe, not one heart will be lost on any of us. Um, Milo, one of your TNT traps just set off and it's launching arrows everywhere. Don't you think that might trigger a chain reaction? <laughs> He could be a secret spy for the pillager army. You need to be really careful, Milo. The only people you can trust in your whole village are your own family. It's all right. I dealt with that villager. We don't have to worry about him anymore. There have been no problems in my village with our villagers, Milo. I guess you are a noob, so maybe all the villagers in your village are noob villagers. Oh, really well. Um, Milo, that would not be the case. Your place keeps blowing up, remember? But I came up with a really smart idea. All the craters from all the TNTs that blew up, I'm gonna turn into massive lava pits. Really? Okay, that's not a bad idea. Pillagers hate lava. They hate it so much. It's one of their only weaknesses, so that's not a bad idea, Milo. Good thinking. Thanks. I'm actually a genius. I wouldn't go that far, but I am proud of you. It's the best idea you've had in a while. Thanks, Chip. You're welcome. All right, now that I've placed the last of these magma blocks, I'm going to start thinking of other things like, oh, I know, sweet berries. But these berries aren't just sweet. They're also spiky. Any pillager that walks into the sides of these walls will get totally stuck in the berries. These berries will also help our base camouflage. Maybe it'll make it so hard to spot that some of the pillagers won't even come here. Hopefully they go to Milo's first. I really need more time to protect my family, and if that's what it takes, I'll totally accept that. I'm gonna put berries in every spot that there's not already magma. Berries cannot grow on magma. That would be ridiculous, but they can grow on grass, so on every grassy spot, we need to put berries. And look, the berries are already growing. These berries are so quick. I guess in the pro village, even the plants are pro. This is proof, Milo, that I'm definitely the pro, and you're definitely the noob. Would a noob be able to do all of um, Milo, you've just almost blown up your own village. I wouldn't call that very cool. Yeah, but I fixed it really quickly, and I made it into something better. Really? You turned it into a lava pit already? Yeah, all of them are lava pits, and it's really awesome. Wow, I'm impressed. I better work even quicker. Maybe if your base is weaker than mine, the pillagers will attack it first, and I will have more of a chance to save my family. The pillagers are gonna take one look at my base, what? I've never seen a mummy pillager before. She probably looks crazy. Hey, don't be mean to the pillagers. 
Sorry, Milo. I guess even pillager mums are probably nice mums. Yeah. Looking at your village right now, Milo, I can say that I'm not very confident that you will be able to protect your family. I think they're in grave danger. All right, Bozo, that's enough of that. Your thing looks stupid. It looks like a little internet tower. It doesn't even look like something that's scary. Mine, on the other hand, looks terrifying, and I have finished my out of defense. Okay, that's impressive, but Milo, look out. You're getting really close to the oncoming pillagers. There is an attack on its way about to get us, so if we don't finish securing our villagers soon, we'll be done for, and so will our precious families. Yeah, I am a little bit worried about my poor family. I hope everything's okay. Me too. Let's quickly get building the next defenses. Hey, this villager just sat on one of my TNTs. Oh, no. This is off to a bad start for Milo. Luckily, I'm building something totally different so I can get going quick. Next, I'm gonna build a security defense force that will go all the way around my village. In every single corner, we need to have iron statues. This will show the pillagers that one of their mortal enemies, the iron golem, lives inside this village. We're gonna put pumpkins on some of them already though. I want some iron golems already patrolling my village, making sure that me and my family are safe. This is just one of many more defenses we have to build before the day is up. The day is going by so quickly, so we really don't have much more time. All right, I'm gonna place as many iron golems down as I can in this moment. We really have to rush. Oh goodness, I know I'm a pro, but even I'm getting a little bit worried. I'm just building an underground bunker right now, Chip. Really, an underground bunker? That's not a bad idea, Milo. I really thought you were newbier than that. I'm not newbie, I keep trying to tell you. I'm a pro. I don't know, Milo. I've seen you do some pretty silly newbie things before. Like what? Well, one time I saw you try to make porridge using gravel. That was terrible. It would have hurt all your teeth. I thought the gravel kind of looked like oats, all right? Leave me be. Yeah, it wasn't just that, though, Milo. You tried to use a flower pot as a bowl. You were basically eating the garden. A flower pot is a bowl, okay? Just because it's not convenient. Yeah, okay, Milo, it's a little weird. All right, my iron golem force is looking so good. All I have to do is place down a couple more and we'll have a real good defense force in our pro village. More like freak force. Hey, that's not true. It's not freaky to want to protect my family from the pillagers. I hate iron golems. I'm going to punch one when I see it. No, Milo, that's a pretty noob thing to do. Iron golems attack anybody that hits them, unless you're the person that made the golems. They have eternal loyalty to their builder. But I'm way stronger than a silly golem. I don't know, Milo. Iron golems are one of the strongest mobs in the whole game. That's why I'm surrounding my pro village with them, because they'll really help defend against every pillager that tries to get me and my family. Your pro village is more like Loserville. Milo, my village is so pro that I'm even building a fireball dispenser defensa system. Oh! Don't care. Milo, that's crazy. This is really important. I'm going to have pressure plates that link up to dispensers. Wait a minute. I also need to have redstone repeaters. This way, the dispensers can actually connect up and the signal will be powerful enough. Just look at that. It activates the dispenser. Now, if I fill this dispenser with a bunch of fireballs and I step on this pressure plate, boom, I totally get launched a fireball at. This is a really good solution for the pillagers. Although, if my kid somehow gets here, it is not going to be safe for him and... Milo, what are you doing? You're launching newbie arrows towards my village. I'm not doing anything. Um, Milo, your defense is really blowing up on itself. You really did not think this through when you were building it. Wait a second. Oh, no. Almost all of my TNT is getting triggered. What did I tell you, Milo? It's going to cause a chain reaction. You're such a noob. I can't believe you didn't think of this. Oh, no. And look, your stupid golems are just watching it and they're not even helping. Milo, because these are my golems. If you wanted golems, you could have built your own instead of complaining about mine. No, I don't want those guys around here. They're not welcome. Oh, Milo, you're crazy. You need all the support you can get. That's why I'm building so many of these fireball dispensers. But rather than just having them be at ground level, I'm going to move every single one of them to being up high. That way, if my kid accidentally escapes, he is not going to be able to get hit by the fireballs because he'll be too short. I'm doing everything in my power to keep my family safe. And that even means keeping them safe from my own ultra strong defenses. Your defenses really aren't keeping your family safe. They're exploding 
near them. That is not what it means to be a good protector of your family, Milo. My family is fine. They don't mind all the explosions. They think it's cool. Well, my family definitely does. Please try and keep them away from mine. I don't need any extra things attacking my family. We already have to try and survive the pillager attack once the sun sets. I don't need to try and survive Milo as well. We'll see. I'm also going to place some of these dispenser systems around this corner. If the pillagers try sneaking around, they'll be totally met with my fiery wrath. I'll also put the repeaters here, and perfect! Now we can just fill up this dispenser as well. Do you have any fireball dispenser defensive systems, Milo? No, but later I'm going to build something even better! Oh yeah? What is it, Milo? It's an automatic arrow dispenser! Automatic arrow dispenser? I don't think you need any more arrows than you already have. Well, I'm going to deal with it. Okay, I guess I will deal with it, as long as you aim them towards the pillagers and not my village this time. Well, there might be a couple pointing in your direction, just in case you betray me. Milo, I think that's why the pillagers are getting so aggravated already. Your explosions are reminding them that we're here. This is terrible. Milo, you really have to stop being such a noob, otherwise they might break out before the sunset. I'm not gonna be a noob, and I'm gonna survive longer than you. So I'm gonna win! Milo, half of your defenses are already down. If this continues, by nightfall you won't have any left and the pillagers will attack your base and totally destroy you and your noob family quickly. Yeah, but every time my TNT blows up, it just means I have more lava pits. It actually works really well. Why didn't you just build a lava pit from the beginning rather than letting your family be in danger from flying arrow TNT? Well, yeah, planning is kind of my thing. That's why I'm building a massive slime block launcher system. Anytime any one of these mobs gets a little bit too close to my base, they'll totally be launched up. I do need a couple complicated blocks though if I want this to work. It really has to be super duper smartly made. This launching system is going to shoot them really high up in the air when they step on the pressure plate. It's a really good idea, I think. It'll make sure my family is safe and it'll also do lots of fall damage to these silly pillagers. All I need is to put a sticky piston here with a bunch of slime blocks. Once I activate this pressure plate by linking it up with redstone, boom, it'll activate the second the pillagers walk on it. Oh no, I think this pressure plate might be a little too quick. Let's put it back one block and add a redstone repeater. This way, the pressure plate has enough time to trigger first. And boom, yeah, it launches them right up. This should do a bit of damage, but I think we need to add a little bit more. The way I'm gonna make this even crazier is by having a second trigger system. This way we can time it so that once the pillagers fall back down onto the slime blocks, they're launched up again. Hopefully this should do some extra critical damage to them. We just need to find a way to dig down and make this redstone charge just long enough. If it's too long, it'll be ages before the pillagers ever land again, and if it's not long enough, I don't think it'll even push them up too high. Hopefully this should work. It might bounce them higher, but what? Oh no, it just traps them. Actually, this gives me a much better idea. Rather than pressure plates, what if this was a looping system that went around and around? This means that once a pillager gets stuck in this trap, they'll be locked here forever. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I've just been building an amazing bunker. We've got three beds some chests. I've been really freaking out about all the explosions, but I think this bunker is a really good idea because it's going to protect my family so much. And now I'm going to build the best defense yet. It's going to be some other dispensers. We need some dispensers and we need some arrows. Maybe we'll do spectral arrows because they're pretty and golden. And lastly, we need a lever. Wait, that's not how you spell lever. I'm really dumb dumb. There we go. All right, time to build these dispensers. All right, I think I've gotten this system working. Now, once a pillager gets on here, they should be stuck for a while. This bounce pad is so high tech. It'll definitely stop the pillagers getting to my family and it'll be really easy to shoot them down when they're bouncing so high. I say we make a bunch more of them. This way, we have a really good system. Every spot around my village will be definitely protected by these super bouncy slime traps. I fit all these dispensers down and some really good levers. So when I push the lever, a little lava shoots out. Oh yeah, boy. These pillagers aren't gonna stand a chance against the Milo village. I should probably build some at the front as well. That way, I've got some defenses out here as well. Milo, 
your defenses are only going to be operated by you? That's terrible. All my pro village defenses are automatic, like this slime block machine. I don't trust automatic things. I only trust myself. And because I'm a pro, I'm going to handle everything. You're not a pro, Milo. And what about your family? Don't you trust them? My family is really good, but I don't want them to have to protect me. That's really nice of you, Milo, but I think they might. These slime pushy traps are going to be so powerful, they might even scare away every pillager. Slime pushy traps? That sounds like something I don't care about. You might not care about the traps themselves, Milo, but you'll care about how much they protect my family. I would have thought you should build them too, because you also want your family to be protected. But if you're just going to fight like this, I guess I can only protect my family. I don't care about your family and also i don't really know how to build a slime pushy trap oh goodness milo if you just say the word and admit that i'm the pro i'll help you protect your family that's never gonna happen nice try buddy oh gosh milo you're really not gonna last very long in this challenge yeah i am i'm gonna build some snow golems okay that's a good idea milo i'm liking where your head's going but i'm gonna do a little bit more than that i'm going to build giant end crystal towers this way there will be massive explosions that we can set off i'm gonna build big chains of them as well the end crystal towers need to be really really tall so i can hit them with a bow anywhere i think this is pretty good i also need to build them out because they're gonna be made out of obsidian these are no joke every single end tower is gonna be so important to protecting my family let's build this obsidian going all the way down these end crystal towers aren't gonna build themselves so i have to work really hard to get them done before the sun sets i think this is a pretty good size for them as well i'm keeping the inside hollow because they're gonna have redstone in them that will link to every other end crystal we can activate a whole network of them to keep our family safe all we need is an explosive arrow which luckily we have in one of our watchtowers the only hope is that milo's arrows don't accidentally activate one if he does that would be a disaster. I'm building these little cages where I keep my cute little snow golems. They're gonna be my best friend. But Milo, why are you building them as best friends? Shouldn't you be building them as guardians of your village and of your family? Yeah, but my best friends are also my guardians. Okay, that's pretty fair. That's actually really nice, Milo. Yeah, I'm gonna shear off their faces so that I can see their silly little smiles. Milo, that's horrible. Oh, goodness, I'm really worried. If that's how you treat your friends, how do you treat your family? Oh, look at this snowman. He's so cute. Oh, goodness, Milo, I'm really worried. If you keep getting distracted doing silly things with your golems, you won't have any time left to build your defenses. I'm building my defenses now. Why don't you stop being so mean and focus on your own stuff? Okay, I am pretty focused on my own stuff. This end crystal tower is almost complete. It's looking really secure as well. I'm gonna have a couple of these so that that way every area of my base is defended from the pillagers. Oh, it's looking so cool as well. Obsidian is one of my favorite blocks. All pros use obsidian because it's so hard to mine. It's also really hard to get, so you have to be a total pro to get it in the first place. Now that I've built that, it's time to put my end crystals up top. I also need to grab some end stone and some end stone bricks. We're gonna build this around the bottom of them. All right, I'll put my end crystal up top just like this perfect now from any side i can totally shoot it down all right i also need to place some obsidian around the edges we're gonna have a big wall full of them i think if we place them in cool shapes like this around the base we'll be able to link them through the floor it'll also make sure that none of my regular builds get totally ruined by them if there's an obsidian wall protecting my base from them they won't do as much damage to my structures and they won't hurt my family all right i think i've done enough of this end crystal wall now I just need to fill it with obsidian at the bottom and place the remaining end crystals. Guess what I'm doing to get ready for the fight? Oh, probably making pancakes or something. No, I'm drinking prime energy. What? Really, Milo? Yeah, and I'm also drinking Red Bull. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, Milo, you do not need any more sugar. Okay, I guess I'll stop drinking energy drinks. 
Yeah, thanks, Milo. That's really good for your health as well. Now that I've finished this end crystal wall, I'm gonna build another end tower, but instead of being super tall, this one's gonna be a lot thicker. Yeah, I think this is a better idea. This way we can have different sizes. Oh no, it sort of steps into one of my redstone contraptions. I think I'll have to flip the redstone contraption going the other way around. I really hope this doesn't delay my building too much. I better build this quick because that sun is closer to hitting the mountain than ever. That means the sunset is coming real soon. Luckily, I've had a bunch of practice already today building all these end crystals and the other end tower. I'll be able to build this final one in no time. I'm gonna go down and keep working on my bunker. I'm gonna make it really, really cool and put some yummy snacks in it. Some yummy snacks in it? What snacks are you gonna put? Well, lots of enchanted golden apples and especially some bird seeds. Milo, the enchanted golden apples are a good idea, but bird seeds, that's terrible. I think they'll make everybody real sick. But it's me and my family's favorite snack. I guess your family is all birds, but bird seeds is such a newbie thing to eat. Real pros eat golden carrots and golden apples and steaks as well. Well, that's rude. I am not a noob, and if you keep saying it, I'm gonna you. Okay, Milo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm the farm, okay? I think we just need to focus on securing our bases. That's why I'm going to build four end crystals on top of this big end crystal tower. Yeah, I think that's a perfect amount. This is looking incredible so far. My base is so secure and awesome. In some parts of this wall, I'm going to add big obsidian spikes coming right up through the ground. It's going to make sure that no pillager can ever get across. And if they even somehow manage to get TNT, that's not going to work either. It does look really ugly. Yeah, it's not meant to look pretty, Milo. It's meant to be secure. What were you doing this whole time? Oh, uh, just bouncing on your cool slime trap. What? Hey, Milo, get off that. You have the habit of breaking things that you touch, so I really don't want to let you around my builds. But it's really fun. I wish I had one of these in my place, but I don't really know how to build it. Yeah, that's because I'm a pro and you're the noob. I'm not sure why you don't want to admit that. I'm not a noob, and now you've made me sad and I'm gonna go cry. Don't cry, Milo. There's bigger things to worry about than how much of a noob you are. I'm not a noob! Well, we'll definitely see who's the noob by whose family survives this pillager attack. My family's gonna be fine. You're being such a bully. I'm not being a bully, Milo. I'm just looking out for you. I care because you're my friend. Okay. I guess that's a little bit nice, but I just wish you'd shut your mouth. Okay, sorry, Milo. I'll try to talk a little bit less, but these obsidian spikes look great. I'm going to build them on the side of the village that borders you. I don't want any of your bombs coming over to my side and breaking my walls, and luckily, obsidian is TNT proof. I know I've built a lot of defenses on the outside, but my next stage is going to really focus on making every part of my village safe, even the inside, and I'm also going to build a secure place to put my family. I just need to think of a way to do it. I do not want them to be sad to be stuck in there. Then my kid might try to escape and he could run out into the pillager attack. That would be a disaster. He's so young. He's only a baby, so he could get a lot of damage and be really, really hurt by them. These obsidian spikes are looking so great. I think this might have to be the last one. Boom, I've added them to every single corner of my village now. And on some of them, I'm even gonna add end crystals. These are pretty far away from any other structures, so if the pillagers attack them, they will only cause damage to the pillagers, and not to my awesome base or anything I've built. I would not want that at all. It would be a disaster. All right, these are pretty good. I need to place a couple more though if I want my base to be super pro and super duper dangerous to pillagers. I think all these towers are too close to my watchtowers, so I can't add any crystals onto them. Luckily, all the other towers around the sides of my base do a great job. <laughs> Golem Captain is exploring and inspecting my land. He said it's really awesome. Wow, how is he not leaving snow everywhere? I don't know. I think he's just really cool and smart. Wow, you're right. That must be a really smart snow golem, Captain. Okay, Milo, I'm starting to have a little bit of faith in you. Yeah, I'm totally gonna survive this, and I 
I'm gonna show these little pillagers who's boss. Good idea. I'm also gonna grab some quartz slabs. I think I need to put them on top of my walls. This will make my walls even taller. Wow, they're almost doubling in size and they're becoming a lot thicker. Hopefully, if the pillagers have any really tiny mobs helping them out, they'll get stuck underneath and totally be hurt. It also means that my kid, who's really, really short, can hide underneath this part of the wall in case all other defenses fail. Of course, I also need to put all these slabs around the back of my base. If I leave just one spot open, that opens us up to an attack from behind, especially since we don't have extra end crystals back here. Chip, I just totally remembered something I need to build. What is it, Milo? I need to build an armor stand with some diamond armor so that I can protect myself. I think protecting yourself with armor is a great idea, but don't you know that netherite is the most powerful armor? Yuck, I would never use netherite armor. Diamond armor is so pretty because it's Whoa. Oh gosh, Milo, if all you focus on with armor is prettiness, then I think you really are doomed. Yeah, but blue is my favorite color, and it matches really well with my feathers. I guess you're true, but I just noticed all my pressure plates are light-weighted pressure plates. I can't have light-weighted pressure plates. I'm a pro. I need heavy-weighted pressure plates. I'm going to replace every single one of these with the heavy ones. This means that the pillagers are really going to have to try harder to destroy them. They can't just launch a bomb or an attack or anything. They'll definitely have to come right in and break them themselves. This is helping my family stay way more secure. I'm also going to add tops to every single one of these dispensers. This way, they can't be broken in case one of the pillagers manages to destroy them. Yeah, I think this is a much better system. I'm doing everything I can, even upgrading my old defenses to keep my family safe. Perfect, I'm loving this so far. I think it's time to build the next stage of my defenses. Now that I've upgraded every single one of these towers around my village, it is time for me to add some more traps. These traps are gonna be different from the other ones though. They involve something called a fan. We need a bunch of levers now as well. We are going to make some air wind traps. These will blow every single pillager that steps near them into another pit that we will make. These pits only need to go as far as the fans will push and I think that's to these blocks. Once the fans reach here, they need to drop the pillagers into pits of lava, just like this. Wow, I even got caught in my own trap. That just proves that these totally work. I'll also make them a little bit longer, just in case any other pillagers need to get trapped in them too. Let's put obsidian borders all the way around just so that they can't be exploded or the lava be drained after it's dug out from underneath. That would be a disaster. Let's add some more fans over here as well. Excuse me, iron golems. I think I need to get around. All right, these are all activated now and they pushed the same distance that these ones went to. Let's dig the pit here and yeah, this is looking perfect. I think if we just break all these blocks, we can add the obsidian first to this one and then we can add the lava each time digging out the block underneath it. This means that there won't be a single spot in the middle where the lava doesn't flow. That would be a disaster. Let's add more where there isn't obsidian spikes. This means that even in the zones around my base where there's the least amount of defense, there's still really good protection. All right, and now we just have to build one here. Oh yeah, this is looking so much better than before. Hey Milo, what are you building now? I'm building a really good swimming pool. A really good swimming pool? That doesn't sound protective at all. Yeah, well my family's gonna get bored while they're waiting here for me to destroy all of the pillages, so I pretty much need to build them something fun to hang out in. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. That's really nice of you to think about your family like that, Milo. Yeah, my defenses are perfect now, so I don't need to worry about any of that riffraff. Now I'm going to build a cool tiki bar in the pool as well. Um, Milo, I do not think your defenses are perfect. Half of your TNTs have already blown up. That cannot be a good idea. It's all part of my plan, Chip. Don't you worry. Okay, I am a little worried though, but I just have to focus on my own family. They are my chance at winning this thing, and they're the things I love most in the world. I'll place more fans here as well. I think these can be my last ones. I've placed so many, I don't want it to be too windy, not to mention, if the electricity shuts down, it'll leave my family really vulnerable to the pillagers breaking in. I'll just place the final obsidian here, and boom, we're adding the lava now. I'll just destroy these dirt blocks, and it's done. Perfect.
perfect. We've now added some air traps, except, uh-oh, they're burning some of my sweet berry bushes. I better make sure that I build these really smart and keep any nearby berry bushes away. I do not want things to get set on fire. That could spread and get really bad really quick. Oh, I guess that means I have to destroy these berry bushes too. You know what? I don't think we'll need them. The air fans should do a really good job of defeating the pillagers, so I'm pretty confident in my ability to survive with these. Now that I've built all those fans, it is time for me to upgrade these towers. I've already added towers around, but now I'm going to make some of them into TNT launchers. I think this one already has arrows launching off of it, and this one is really close to my base, so I think this tower is the perfect spot. It has a really good point to see the pillagers coming, and it should be able to aim right for them. First, in order to make the TNT cannon, we need to place lots of obsidian, just like this. Perfect! Now, we need to have water coming all the way along. I need to get some water, but first, we need to put a fence gate at the very end. This will help stop the water from leaking everywhere and breaking my lava and my redstone. It would turn the lava into obsidian, and we definitely have enough of that already. Now, I need to place some more obsidian on the sides, just to make it a little bit stronger. Otherwise, the TNT could do some serious damage. Finally, I need to grab some dispensers and some actual TNT to put inside them. Here we go. Let's also grab some repeaters to make sure that we can properly time this redstone. This will be the first dispenser to get triggered. Then we will place redstone dust along here and add multiple more dispensers on either side. Let's place two over here and I think we should place two over here as well. Perfect. All right. Now the TNT should totally work. We just have to put redstone on these dispensers and fill them with TNT. I have a bunch right here, so that should not be a problem. We'll put the TNT in this one. Let's do the ones on the left first. We'll do the right last. This way I can fill them in a really smart pattern, making sure I don't miss a single dispenser. All right, I think this should work, but just to be sure, I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. We'll add the fence gate at the very end, just like that. Perfect, I really hope this will work. Let's test it out. First comes that TNT and then the other stuff. Come on, do me a favor and oh goodness, that could have gone really, really badly. Luckily, it didn't hurt any of my builds, but hmm, it means I really need to think about how I can make this a little bit better. I totally failed with that design. I need to be smarter than that. In order to make a smarter design, I need to link redstone underneath the machine, just like this. Perfect, it's glowing so you know it's already activated. And I need to link it to a dispenser at the very, very end. This dispenser has to be underneath the floor, so we'll lead the redstone back out this way and around into it. Perfect, let's add the dispenser here and boom, we did it really quick so none of the water got ruined. An even better way to make this design is to actually put the dispenser in the floor like that. Although we need to be careful of, uh oh, the water, don't let it get in the lava. Woo, that was a close save. Totally destroyed this redstone contraption though. I need to put it back quickly. How did I do it again? Oh yeah, that's right. I had a repeater and a bunch of redstone here. Woo, that was a lucky save. That almost went really, really badly. Luckily, I'm a bit of a pro, so I was able to quickly save it before it went super duper wrong. Finally, I think my other mistake was building these dispensers too close to the start. I think I need one right here, and I'm also gonna need one right here. These ones at the beginning do not need to be here, and wow, now I'm gonna add more repeaters. Hopefully this will leave more time between the TNT getting deployed and actually exploding. I really think this could work. Finally, I have to add some more water and another trap door inside. This is an important step, but it's one that needs to happen. Let's just check this water in the trap door, and yep, there definitely is. I pretty much finished building my lovely pool with my awesome tiki bar, and my family really love it. My little baby is just swimming around having a great time. Your family loves it? That's great to hear, Milo. I'm so happy for you. This horrible TNT contraption is giving me a headache, though. You want me to come have a look at it for you? Uh, no, Milo. You're a bit of a noob, so whatever you do, I think it'll be worse than what I've made. All right, I'm just gonna make some drinks for my family, but oh my gosh, one of the villagers is walking on all the TNT. This is horrible. Yeah, Milo, I just watched that happen. That was a total disaster. You really need to be more careful. And hey, those explosions are happening really, really close to my village. If they get any closer, Milo, my entire village might be in danger. That's I can't believe that happened, and it was so close to my family. Now I'm really worried. 
Yeah, I'm worried for you too. Make sure your family is safe. They're the only ones you've got. I'm gonna test out my TNT contraption again. I super duper hope this works. And whoa, it launched them really far this time. That is a great sign. I think this is perfect. The best design I've made yet. I'm so happy with this tower. I think it's time to move on to my next defense. I'm gonna build a giant massive obsidian bunker in the center of this village, right around the wishing well. Yeah, that's perfect. I need to build it really tall as well. We need to be able to retreat up into it. And even if we don't need to use it for the pillager attack, it might just be a nice holiday spot for us one day. That is, if we survive, if we don't make it, we'll never be able to have a holiday again. It'll be so terrible. So I really hope me and my whole family survive these pillagers. How's your silly little tiki bar coming along, Milo? It's good, but my kid is trying to run away and I'm trying to block him in so that he stays safe. Milo, your kid's trying to run away? My kid grew out of that pretty quick. Well, it's getting really annoying, so I'm just gonna keep him in those blocks for the minute, and then later on I'll put him in a safe place, but hang on, Chip. Have you seen the sun lately? Oh, wow, I have. Look, Milo, we can already see the orange of the sunset starting to appear. Oh, no, I better fill up this huge crater with lava and then get to a safe place really soon. Yeah, I need to build this tower fast, and I think I have the perfect idea to help me do it. This is pretty complicated and a little bit dangerous, so I hope I do this right. I'm gonna need to place more obsidian in the inside, just like this. It's gonna look a little weird, but it'll definitely make sense soon. I'm gonna do one of the coolest tricks I have ever learned as a Minecraft pro. Instant building towers. First, I need to grab a lava bucket, just like this. And I know it's gonna be dangerous, but I have to place lava all around here. It'll go on the inside of my obsidian, and I'm not gonna leave it as lava. Lava is really dangerous, and it burns lots of things. I also don't want my son anywhere near it. It would be very, very dangerous for him. He's just a growing boy, so any lava would be totally terrible. Now, as the lava drips down, we'll build an obsidian catching area. This way, when it falls, it won't spread all around the village and burn everything. That would be a disaster. I also need to get rid of any nearby hay bales or anything flammable. The wishing well in the middle will sadly have to go, but I think it'll be nice on the inside of this tower. Perfect, the lava is now carefully contained inside my little build. And now comes the scary part. I have to add water on the inside of every single part of this. This way, it'll turn the lava into cobblestone, making it fully solid and able to become a proper defense tower, just like this. Whoa, it already looks so awesome. You can see that it really has started. I need to do the same on the outside though, but oh my goodness, the lava is spreading. This is terrible. I'll need to be really fast with the rest of my water. Otherwise, this could be a real disaster. I do not want lava to spread around my village. That would really only help the pillagers and it would put my family in a lot of danger. I think I need to be quick with this water. We'll place it and then really quickly break it. Um, that did not work. That was a disaster. Oh no, the water's totally gonna cobblestone all around. Oh goodness, Milo, I've made a huge mess. Really? Kind of like me to be honest. Can I come see? Uh, I guess that's okay, Milo, but don't judge me yet. It is not finished. Oh. Hey, I am not a noob. Milo, you're the noob. I really am doing everything to keep my family safe and that's something only a pro would do. Although this is pretty tricky to work with, so I understand why you think I'm a noob. Oh, well, that's really bad. I can't believe you did this. Ha <laughs> ha, I feel a lot better about mine now. I'm not a noob, Milo. Look, I've just turned the final bits of lava into cobblestone. Now I just need to break the rest that escaped and leaked all around my tower. It's a pretty funky looking tower if you ask me. Hey, yeah, well, everything pros make is funky. That's because designs made by pros are really complicated and very unique. Complicated, a.k.a. really bad. No, not at all. Now I just have to plug up the lava and turn it into cobblestone again. Here we go. Now my family will be really safe at any point. And another pro trick I have to clean up water is sponges. I'm not going to block up all the water by myself. That's only something a noob would do. 
Look, I only had to place four sponges and the water is clearing so quickly. I'm gonna make the final top of my tower out of quartz, just like this. We can have different arms extending in all directions. Oh wow, this is gonna look so cool. I'm also building a sideways spike. This is gonna look so awesome. And it's gonna be the centerpiece of my super pro village. My family's gonna love it here. I think everybody else is just gonna be really jealous of how awesome my village looks compared to theirs. We need to fill this entire middle tower with things that my family might need, like a bedroom and a storage room and even an armor weapon room. Yeah, that will totally help us take down these pillagers. My whole family can operate weapons, but I'm gonna make sure that my wife and my son stay safe inside my tower. I'm not gonna let them come close to the danger. That would make me a really bad husband, so I must make sure my whole pro family is safe. I'm gonna build the center of this tower really big using a spruce pillar. I'm also gonna add ladders to every single corner of it. I'm not gonna leave any single side that you can't climb up. This way, any direction that anybody comes in from, or even if they're hiding inside already, they can climb up super duper quick and won't be trapped when the pillagers come. These ladders need to go really, really high. Perfect, I'm almost all the way to the top already. This is so good. All I have to do is make a couple floors. I think the first floor needs to be the armory. It's the first thing that we're gonna need to go in if we wanna be safe from these pillagers. Let's make the floor out of orange concrete. I think that looked really good when we did it before. We'll just place it all around here, leaving some space to climb up the ladders. We do not want to be caught off guard. Let's place it all around here, and all right, we're almost done with the floor on this level. Once we place these blocks, we can actually start making the armory. We of course need some armor stands and some trusty netherite armor. I'm also gonna grab some item frames as well to keep all of our netherite gear in. Perfect, let's get our netherite sword and our netherite pickaxe. We also might need a netherite axe, so I'll grab one of those as well. Let's place down the armor stands just like this. Perfect, and add the armor on top. We need to put down different ones so that every member of my family can have them. We don't have mini armor for my son, so if he wants to put on the armor, he'll have to equip the big boy stuff, but I think they'll definitely fit him. If he's anything like me, he'll be super duper tall. All right, I'm also gonna add a bunch of weapons on this wall. We can even add a bunch of spares. This way, in case one of them breaks, we can run in here and grab another one. We won't need bows though. The bows already come in the bow tower. We might need some food though. That's why I will have a really neatly organized chest system. Every single one of these chests will have a different handy food item inside. First, let's grab all of our golden foods. We'll have golden carrots, regular golden apples, and enchanted golden apples, just like this. Perfect. We'll put golden carrots all inside here like that. Whoa, amazing. And golden apples all inside here. Lastly, we'll add our enchanted golden apples in and boom, we've added in our first three food items. Lastly, I think we need to add potions. Let's get potions of speed so we can run really fast. And let's get potions of health. Wow, they're so beautiful together. Look at the blue one and the red one. That is a really nice color palette. Even though blue's a really bad color, I can appreciate some beauty. All right, incredible. I love this design so far. And we can also add some chains and some grindstones. We also need a stone cutter or two. This way we can do a bunch of constructing and crafting inside our armory. It needs to look super duper cool and very official. We don't just want a noob armory. Only a noob would have that. And as far as I'm concerned, I am not a noob at all, and neither is my family, so this looks perfect. It's nice and dangerous and official for us. Now, I just have to make the roof, which is also going to be the floor for the next level inside my tower. On this level, I think we need to build anything that my family might want to live in, like, oh, I know, bedrooms. We need spots for each of us to stay, but wait a minute, why did I hear an explosion, Milo? <laughs> TNT is going off over here, but I can't confirm or deny that. Okay, Milo, I'm really not liking how this is sounding, but as long as my family is safe, that's all I can focus on for now. I'm building so many beds inside this bedroom. This way, my family can sleep on any side they want. In case things get a little dangerous and one of the beds gets blown up, we will also add chests on every single one so they can have anything they need really close by and ready to go. I think we also need some emergency brewing stands with even more healing potions. This time, we're gonna have splash potions on them. Splash potions can be equipped really fast in the middle of a battle, and because we have four of them, there's enough that if we all run out, there's a bunch of spares. I keep real good care of my family, and that includes having spare items in case of emergencies. All right, 
Now it's up to the final level of the inside of my tower. This is the warning room. It's going to warn everybody to not enter the top floor. This is really important because the top floor is going to contain my final ultimate defense. It's going to be very, very dangerous. So let's add a bunch of signs around. Hopefully, if anybody's smart enough, they'll read these signs and see exactly where not to go. Except, wait a minute. What's that in the floor? Hey, why do I see Milo's name tag? Milo, what are you doing down there? I'm just jumping on the bed. What? Milo, hey, that's my family's beds. Get off, you noob. What? I'm not a noob. I'm feeling really confident that I'm totally going to survive this pillager attack. And I'm going to survive better than you. No, you won't. Me and my family are going to survive way better than you and your family will. I have my ultimate final defense, except I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to wait and see. I am going to build it now, though, so it can be ready for the pillager attack. I don't care what it is. I'm going to go back and hang out in the pool with my family. Let's add the redstone block right above this obsidian here. It's pretty scary, so I'm only going to add one button to activate it. What the defense does is totally top secret, so I can only reveal it in a worst case scenario. This way, nobody can find out and disarm it before we can properly activate it. We don't have much time though. I need to go get my family and have them follow me into the bunker. Here's my kid, but oh no, where's my wife? Wife, where are you? Wait a second, I see her inside this building. Please come out, honey, it is not safe for you in here. I've built us an ultimate secure tower. We need to go up it quick if we want any chance of surviving this thing. Look, guys, we need to get inside. We really don't have much time. Oh no, I did not build it tall enough for my kid. Let's build some stairs out the front, just like this. Hopefully now he should be able to come up. Oh no, wife, please get out of there, it's not safe. All right, now that she's made it out of that hole and my kids managed to get up here, I really think we need to get up stairs. Come on, family. It is the only safe spot for us all to hide in. You guys are both safe and sound inside here. Now, I hate to do this, but I need to go and grab some trap doors. This will stop both of them from being able to leave. I never wanted it to come to this, but I need to do this in order to protect them. I'll just place them here. Hopefully, they'll be safe and happy inside this bedroom. There's healing potions in case either of them gets sick, and plenty of beds and plenty of space as well. All right, now that I've placed all these trap doors down, I need to make sure that they do not get activated. Please, wife, you can't try to leave like this. And done. All right, I've placed all the trap doors. Stay safe. I love you guys. I think it's time to check on Milo one last time before the pillagers attack. Hey, Milo, I... Uh-oh. Milo, the sun is setting. We do not have much time left. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so impressive. Me and my family are going to crush it with all of our epic defenses. Oh, gosh. I don't know about that, Milo. This defense looks really bad. I think I better get inside quick before the pillagers actually come. We do not have much time. I'm going to get my armor on. Oh, no, Chip. I think they're coming towards me. Wow, they totally are. And there's so many of them, Milo. You better be careful. Oh, no. But it's okay because my defenses are super good. I'll be fine. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Milo. You are very newbie, and they're totally making their way over. Yeah, one of them actually just shot me, and oh no, this isn't looking so good. No, the arrows are shooting again. Whoa, oh Milo, I'd be really worried if I was you. Oh, Chip, they're really gaining on me. Help me. I can't help you, Milo. I can only help me and my own family. What? No, they're not. Look how many evokers there are. Wow. They're using all their powers to try and snap me up with their little crocodiles. They're pushing me into the lava. This is really horrible. I can't see anything. Milo, I don't like your chances right now. Do you have a golden apple or something? Yeah, thank goodness. But even that is not really working. You should mine your way up into your base so that you don't have to go through the pillages. That's Quick, Milo, you need to get in now before they get you. Okay, I'm in my base again, but oh, almost all of my snow golems have died. Oh, wow, Milo, they really have died. Yeah, and look, they're all down here like stupid idiots. I'm just going to mine this so I can get down to them. Hey, idiots, look at me. Um, Milo, because you mine down to them, doesn't that mean that they can now come up to you? Wait.
There's so many coming over to get you, Milo. This is really bad. Champ, I'm really trying to be brave, but this situation is not looking good for me and my family. No, it's not. They're totally coming to get you. I hope you guys managed to make it. Even though we've been fighting this whole time, I still want you guys to make it through. Yeah, these arrows are really hurting me. Maybe I can use my automatic arrow dispensers. Whoa, that makes them look crazy. They glow purple. It's not really I don't know, Milo. Probably because you're a noob. Look! They're over here with my family now! This is so sad! Oh no! They just got your baby, Milo! What? No! You bozos are so horrible! Milo, they got your wife as well! Oh no! This is so bad, Chip! What am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, the only defense left to fight against these pillagers is you, Milo! Oh. You're right, Milo. Oh, goodness. Look, a massive wave of pillagers is making their way over to you. Oh, gosh. And they're totally going to get over if they don't get in the TNT first. You're right. But, uh-oh, they just activated another TNT. What? Oh, gosh. Stop it, you pillagers. You leave me alone. This is for killing my family. Oh, gosh, Chip. I'm really taking a lot of damage. Help me. I can't help you, Milo. But, oh goodness, I really do hope you survive. I feel bad you lost your family. Even though you're the noob, you didn't deserve that. I'm not a noob! Hey, stop shooting me! Well, Milo, you're managing to defeat them. Things might be looking up for you. Yeah, maybe I'm actually gonna be really good. Maybe I'm actually a pro. No, that's still me, but you might just survive this. Oh, goodness! Milo, they got you! Uh-oh, that means I'm next. I better run in to check on my family quick before they get gotten by pillagers. Wait a minute, why are there armor stands here? Uh-oh, something's gone horribly wrong. I need to quickly check on my family and see if they're okay. And wait a minute, what? Hey, there's my kid! How did you get out? Uh-oh, this means my family is in a lot of danger. I better grab my equipment from these chests. They must have been totally rattled by the TNT explosions that came from Milo's stuff. Wait a minute, and I don't have any weapons or armor? This means I will have to rely only on the things I've built in my defense. All right, you stay here, family. I'm gonna go protect us. I'll go down this way because otherwise I won't be able to get around. I need to get up to that watchtower quick so I can grab a bow. Oh goodness, look, all the pillagers have made it to my wall. I need to really hurry. Luckily, my iron golems are still here and I can see that my slime block traps are working. I just need to climb all the way up this ladder. I really hope they don't snipe me while I'm up here. And I've made it to the top. Boom. Whoa, I just missed all those arrows. Look, they're firing them at me. But now I can grab a bow and I can grab a bunch of explosive arrows. Let's put the bow right here. I'll also put the explosive arrows and the potions in my inventory in the best spots to keep them. I think this is perfect. Now it's only time to start shooting down all these pillagers. Wow, there's so many over there. All these evokers. But I think with my explosive explosive arrows, I'm totally gonna get them. Look, I'm already taking some down. I'm doing a way better job at protecting myself than Milo did. Oh wow, there's still so many though, and wait a minute, there's a bunch of pillagers at my doorstep. I don't think I can attack these ones, but uh oh, they're shooting arrows, and lots of them. I think I need to use some of my other tower defenses. Let's make our way down. I don't want to be caught off guard. Okay, I think this is a good strategy. I just have to make it to the other towers. Whoa, there are so many here. And wait a minute, I think I see a massive crowd of them coming over. Yep, that is a massive crowd. We need to quickly go over to this tower before it's way too late. Oh no, my iron golems are taking lots of damage as well. Luckily, my wind traps are definitely working and so are my fireballs. Hey, oh gosh, I need to make it up to this tower to use my TNT cannon. I built that especially to fight these pillagers. I really hope it works. Oh no, I fell back in the hole. I guess rushing to protect my family has made me a little clumsy. Yeah, come on TNT, attack these pillagers. Whoa, it's shooting off into the distance, but I don't know if it's gonna hit them right. Uh oh, did I make this TNT not go far enough? Hey, it hit me. Oh my goodness, I think I know exactly what I need to do. I need to shoot them down myself, but ow, the fangs are getting me. Oh goodness, I'll need to run and find another way into my base. I think it might be time to eat an enchanted golden apple. 
I'm about to do a crazy trick shot. I'm gonna shoot an explosive arrow underneath myself to launch myself into my base like this. Okay, I need to do it closer and boom, it worked. All right, I made it in. I'm gonna try and get these pillagers and uh oh, I think I just opened a corridor into my base. This is terrible. Luckily, the iron golems are definitely handling it. I think it's time to go over and try and attack the other pillagers. Hey guys, don't think I don't see you over there. Wait a second, they've all disappeared. They must be hiding somewhere. This is bad. I think I need to take this opportunity to drink a potion of swiftness and this way I can run really, really quick. Look, so many more are coming. Every single time I defeat them, more just arrive. Now I'm gonna activate my end crystals like this. Boom, I don't think that did anything. Uh-oh, but there are so many more end crystals around my base. Let me parkour bow up to this one in the sky. Wait, that one didn't really launch me. This is embarrassing. And that one did, but hmm, it didn't launch me very far. Let me try again. Wow, these pillagers are getting really close. Hey guys, eat this. Whoa, they're totally taking these arrows. Oh gosh, they're doing lots of damage to me though. I do not want to die. It would totally ruin my family. Uh-oh, these pillagers are getting inside. I need to use all my explosive arrows while I still can. This is bad, real bad. Wow, there are so many and even more keep coming. I also need to handle these evokers quickly. I do not want them to totally overwhelm me or my family. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, I've come to totally take you down, but whoa, this is the biggest army yet and that's a lot of crocodile fangs. Hey, stay back. Uh-oh, I'm gonna make my way down. There are so many holes into my base now. I shouldn't have been so silly with those explosive arrows. That's noob behavior, not fit for a pro like me. Oh wow, and there are so many coming. I think I need to do what I really didn't want to do. I need to retreat into my family tower. This could be the only chance I have left. Stay back, stay back. Whoa, so many are coming. And look, even more are coming in this way. Wow, I really did not plan for there to be so many like this. Hey, whoa, those ones do lots of damage. Stay back, please. It's now or never. I better run up. Oh gosh, I'm climbing the ladder now. I need to shoot the ladder so that they cannot follow me. Okay, I think that worked, but uh-oh, we do not have much time. There's my kid. I need to make sure that he is safe. Stay there, Chip Jr. I need to go do this quickly. I'll be back for you soon. And sweetie, where are you? Wait a second, where's my wife? Oh, there you are. Stay here. I love you and I will not let anything happen to you. I'm gonna ignore every single sign that I just placed here. It is time to use the final redstone defense. I kept this a secret for so long. Look, there are so many pillagers making their way in through the holes that I've left. I guess if they're already getting in, there's no reason not to shoot them down while I still have the chance. I do not know if my final defense will really work as well as I hope, so I better do everything in my power to assist it. Oh gosh, look, they're all getting there. Hey, iron golems, get out of the way. I'm trying to help you. Oh goodness, there really are so many, and look, they're all at the base of my tower. If they manage to get in and find my family, my family is totally done for. It is time for me to use the final defense. All right, I need to activate this thing right now. Okay, look, it's summoned TNT rain. I better be careful though, I don't wanna die. Okay, that TNT rain was massive. I don't see any pillages, but there's lots of destruction. I better jump down and check. 360, no scope. Okay, I landed it, but um, Okay, I don't think I see any pillagers. I think I might have won. Okay, I officially stopped the pillagers, but wait a minute. What if my family got hurt in the TNT rain? I need to go check on them quickly. Oh goodness, I'll need to use an arrow and a bow to get into my tower. I made this way too secure. Oh goodness, hopefully I can do it. Oh no, I'm running out of opportunities to parkour. Every shot that I miss digs me further into the floor. I really hope I manage to protect my family. Otherwise, that would make me the real noob. I managed to launch myself in and okay here's my kid wow I'm so glad you're alive and now I need to check on my wife and I think this is a good sign hi sweetie you made it come here we can now be together forever as a family hooray